skinning my car. I think I have problems with the oxygen sensor. It says it's not completed. And I've been driving it for probably a thousand miles. Um, we're going to go to uh, codes here in just a second. Okay, let's uh, let's see what these co trouble codes are. Just bear with me, please. Trouble codes. Trouble codes. So it's a uh, air fuel sensor. Eleven fifty P one one five zero. See if it says it's uh, bank two. Bank two sensor one. So here's our Toyota Camry that I'm working on here. This is a V6 3.0 liter uh, bank two. Sensor one is right here, right by the heat shield. Now this is uh, cool, this is not hot. Might even be better if it's a little warm. So I may start it up a little bit uh, before removing the, uh, the sensor. Uh, the connector to this is right here, so I'll be removing that. So what I'm gonna do is, is remove it and uh, we'll take a look at it. If it looks like I could possibly clean it, I may do that. If it just looks really totally filthy um, or there's some obvious damage to it, then I'll just have to replace it. So uh, let's go ahead and get it off and take a look at it. And here's a look at the AF ratio sensor removed now. You can see uh, pretty nasty looking there. like some rust on there as well so to clean this up uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna try to use this is gonna be kind of experimental so uh, don't recommend doing this um, but I want to do this in a matter of hours like a couple of hours so I can get the car back on the road and go start going through a drive cycle um, instead of waiting overnight so here's what we're going to use okay so I just got a small glass here got some wire here wrapped around the uh, end of the sensor there just to stabilize it uh, with the rest of the wire hanging out the end to keep it balanced I just got it up against that brick like that I mean there's probably many other better ways to do it but uh, that's what I'm going to go with and I've got the uh, vinegar here we're going to go with 5% acidity white vinegar, distilled white vinegar, and all I'm going to do is just pour some in here. Uh, I'm not going to go 100% there, I think I may go with some water as well, uh, maybe like three quarters vinegar, three quarters vinegar, maybe a quarter water. Grab some water. I'm going to some water here. I'm going to go right about where the uh, where we're going to be putting our wrench on it. So that's the formula there, and nothing exact. Just making it up kind of as I go along here. Like I said, I've never done this before. Not completely experimental. Maybe we won't have to buy a new one. Uh, I'm going to use a, a brush I have here. It's a, uh, we've got a uh, plastic bristle and we've got some uh, little wire bristles here. This is soft. So we'll let that soak there for, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour. And then we'll come back and take a look at it. I'm back now. Uh, I was gone for about an hour and that's one reason I wanted to dilute the vinegar because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if I should use straight vinegar since I was going to be gone. But uh, I would say now that yes, yeah, straight vinegar would be okay to use. 
it's uh, you know it hasn't done well it doesn't look that much different but I do see quite a bit of uh, carbon particles that have uh, fell off um, I did do a little bit of scrubbing with my brush vinegar really isn't that dirty so uh, yeah let me show you kind of what I'm doing with the scrubbing here I don't think it's as dirty as it really looks and I don't expect this to uh, have a real uh, silver look to it once I get finished matter of fact I think we're close to being finished right now it's been about an hour and a half so I'll probably let this sit for another 30 minutes or so and then we will uh, put it back on the car Alright, looks uh, looks some better. Maybe you can see some of the soot that has fell off. A lot of it has collected on the bottom. Quite a bit. There's still some floating there, but most of it is uh, it's on the bottom here. All right, so let's get rid of this. Okay, with that empty, I'm just going to put some water in the glass. We're going to put some uh, baking soda so we can neutralize that vinegar. We're going to put the uh, sensor back in there. And the reason I'm doing this is just so the uh, vinegar does not continue to... Uh, to corrode any any metal here okay so we're just gonna you can see some of the chemicals or the chemical reaction there all right we're gonna call that good we're gonna wipe it off Put some anti-seize on the threads here. Okay, we're going back in. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take it down to where washer is the crush washer and make sure that that's seated good okay so I should have checked the continuity of the those two heat wires black wires okay uh, let's try to do that before we connect it all right so those are two black wires right there right here let's check and see if we're getting continuity gonna hold it like that for now where are they again they're right black wires are right there Okay, cool. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to use two hands and get it started here. Okay, we're going back now and clearing clearing the code clear data all right so we'll drive the car and see if uh, cleaning that sensor uh, will clear the code now it's highly doubtful that it will but if we're lucky that will um, otherwise we'll have to buy a sensor okay so I'm uh, scanning the vehicle now to see if it's uh, gone through the cycle it says uh, not all readiness so we want to see if the oxygen sensor catalyst is complete O2 sensor completed O2 sensor heater completed Uh, mill light is on, so I know there's going to be a faulty, there's going to be a code on something. PO430, PO430, so that is a catalyst uh, code, catalytic converter. It could be a bank. It could be a uh, there's a possibility it could be an oxygen sensor um, on um, downstream. Uh, this is kind of a this is not the best scanner in the world. So uh, sometimes if those are bad, you'll throw a catalyst code PO430. But more than likely, it's it's just a catalyst. So let's read the uh, more than likely it's a bad catalytic converter. So let's read the uh, data here. Trouble codes. Uh, one pin, one trouble code. PO430 catalyst system. Low efficiency below threshold. Bank two. Bank two. All right. Anyway, so that shows that the uh, oxygen sensor we were working on and cleaning um, is working again. Anyway, so uh, we've got that. So we just need to move on to uh, the catalyst. So I guess that'll be it. Thank you for watching the video. Hope it's been helpful. Until next time, have a great day. Take care.